Now that we have all of our styles updated, let's talk about actually building our product. So as you can see here, I have set up a folder called build. We also have plenty of different templates for you to work with. However, this is assuming you want to build from scratch with these sections. What I would recommend is create this section, this folder here called build, and then create your pages within that. So let's go with the home page here. What you'll notice throughout the generic SAS template is that pretty much everything is placed into symbols and we've named those according to their category and then also described them a little bit. So in this example, we want to make a pretty standard sized website, let's say. So let's start with our nav bar. I want to do nav bar drop down with icons. It's quite, quite a nice looking one, I would say. So below that nav bar, we need a hero section. Let's grab that. I want to do hero with email form. There we go. That one looks pretty nice. And as you can see, this is in a symbol. So we probably don't want to keep it that way. What I would recommend doing is unlinking the symbol by right clicking and then unlinking right there. Now that we have this, let's continue to build the rest of our pages and apply this same mentality write some test copy in there. So we'll speed through this so you can watch it being done. There we go. So as you can see now, we have a completed home page. Of course, we would probably want to put some different images and, and write these paragraphs. That being said, all of this is working just as it should. One quick note on this tab section here, this auto rotating tab section, there is a piece of custom code that you are going to want to grab, which is over here. And there you have it. That is how you build with sections in the generic SAS template. You'll notice that I kept the nav bar and the footer as symbols because we're going to want to keep them as symbols as the site is live.